Hey guys, it's Emmanuel, your body code practitioner out here. I uh, hope you're having an amazing day today. Uh, today is uh, Monday, and what, what's the date? Hmm. It is July 15, 2019. So I just wanna do a quick video for you guys in regards to preconception trapped emotions and inherited emotions. Just a really, really quick message, because I had two clients today that <clears throat> I kinda wanted to dig a little bit deeper. So what's really cool about the, um, the body code, one of the things that um, Brad Nelson talks about is basically the idea of not having to go further than you need to in regards to information to release something. So he says, the biggest thing to save time would be, do we need to know more about this? Again, get, get used to saying this. So if you wanna just take a quick second and say it, you can say it with me, ready? One, two, three. Do I need to know more about this? Do we need to know more about this energy at all? Body's like, nope, sorry, then boom, we just release it, get rid of it, and move on. Um, again, guys, we're not therapists, we're not psychologists, we're not marriage counselors, we're not any of that. We're just energy healers, we're looking for the subconscious. Now, are there other professions there that work on the conscious brain, aka the top of the iceberg, for sure, but we're, that's not our, our job, it's, it's usually something below. So what I wanted to share with you today is uh, preconception trapped emotions inherited. Just, it's just really interesting how, um, when I went to the conference last time, uh, something that Dr. Brad mentioned was, is that we have to look at the energy um, in regards to, um, there might be a story behind it. What I mean by that is that, for example, if you have a, uh, in, uh, they, they use the rat as an example in regards to passing energies down to people. And with the rat, for example, the mother rat, who uh, got zapped, uh, electrocuted uh, in a certain area of the maze, and then they, you know, the, the mother had a baby, and the baby, for some reason, was very cautious around that area. Um, you know, almost got stunned or stopped in that area, the same place where the mom got stunned. There was trauma that got passed down. See, in humans, there's, there's kind of even a more caring, sort of like, watchtower reason why that could happen. For example, you could say, um, you know, oh my gosh, I'm failing in my relationship. So then there's a really strong failure someone feels back in like 19 or 1790. And this is your great, 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 great grandfather. It got passed down because it's to warn the family, be careful with relationships. You're gonna fail or you're gonna have betrayal or whatever energy that father felt. It's almost letting the family line know, be careful with this spectrum of your life, you may feel failure. So what's interesting is it came down as a warning, but what, what it could do is it could crutch us. For example, if we have a very strong inherited failure, we're now afraid of failing. And not only one area of life, but many areas of our life. So it may be very crippling, even though the body's intention was to warn, to warn, to warn. So it's really interesting that this lady today that I was working with had issues with water and drinking it. Sure, that we went in there and I was like, I wonder what, what's gonna come out of this. And actually it was a physical thing. There was hypothalamus, which actually is kind of like the thirst quenching machine in the body. And it was and it was an imbalance there in the hypothalamus. So it makes you like never thirsty if your hypothalamus is imbalanced. So I found that. So I'm like, oh, cool, it's a physical thing going on. There were some energies that were messing with the hypothalamus. We made it happy and we moved on. Now there was also a preconception trapped emotion, which means that uh, there is something to do with um, her spirit body in a different time. Now, technically you can just find the emotion and just release it and move on. Now, because I was curious, I was just like, well, how old is this thing? You don't have to do that, but I said, how old is this? And on top of that, I said, okay, so now we found out how old it is. Uh, was this something you felt by yourself or is this something that you sort of uh, shared uh, with someone? Guess what the answer was, shared with a certain female. Now, beyond this shared with the female, I asked, I said, why water though? Like, why this terror? Like she had this like image of water with terror. I'm like, where did that come from? This preconception trapped emotion. But why would the image of water bring her terror? And I started, we, we found actually two preconception trapped emotions. One of them was, um, and I, I was asking, I'm like, you obviously witnessed a family member dealing with something and then you shared an energy with her but technically you witnessed something she saw. So sometimes they've been going further, but what did you see? Subconscious remembers, is this like, and one of them was actually uh, water being toxic or water having issues or non-sanitational water. 
So you can imagine if you're hanging around someone that's dealing with like health issues and then on top of that, they're worried about the water and like how they, they have nothing to drink or that it's hard to get liquid or how hard to drink healthy water. Yeah, do you think you're gonna have some you're gonna have some terror with water now in the present time when the spirit body doesn't remember but your subconscious remembers? Yeah. Another thing too is like, uh, you, know, you could have also, uh, another preconception was, was a woman who drowned. Could the woman who drowned in this other life where the spirit body went back there, if this woman drowned, could she have already posterity for sure? So, but the point is that you were following this woman around and it said that you had helplessness. I said, helplessness, is this water sanitation again? No, it's like drowning. There must've been a moment of drowning in the water. And then do you think this person now who witnessed that, if you're the guardian angel of that person, do you think you like water? Do you think you like swimming in the pool? Maybe not, but you like ocean? Maybe you have intimidation or respect for the ocean. There's a reason for that. And so I just always find it very, very interesting that if you want, you can take the curiosity around and say, why do I have that? So a lot of the things we're dealing with guys, we could be dealing with spirit body trauma, not even physical trauma. So hopefully this kind of, it's kind of a, a beautiful thing that, uh, you know, for example, if you watch the movie, uh, I'm trying to remember what it was called. It, uh, it was from the creators of Matrix. And, uh, uh, okay, I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's, anyway, but it's, it's some type of like really beautiful story with Tom Hanks and Holly Berry and everybody like that. It has to do something with like past lives. What if there wasn't past lives? What if, again, you were just following somebody in your family that they were uh, going through things and you were like, basically absorbing and sharing multiple emotions with this person because you were guiding them? And then now you're dealing with the trauma from your spirit life that most of the things you're dealing with could be spirit life trauma. So it's just, I think it's, we need to open up our minds more because like I said, the, the, when the rubber meets the road is this person obviously starts drinking more water. When the rubber meets the road is I don't have fear of relationships anymore. When the rubber meets the road is I finally launched that business. But what's holding us back are these energies that we're not aware of. So hopefully you appreciated this, these insights uh, in regards to the emotion code body code. I just want to do a really quick video on like trapped emotions, inherited ones, and preconception ones. They all have a story behind it. It's family members warning us of things. And if we witnessed it, shared it, that it came to us, we will have issues here, but the beautiful thing is with the emotion code body code, we can release those, and then you can move on with some area in your life where you feel stuck. So hopefully you enjoyed this. We'll be in touch soon. Take care, feel free to leave a comment below, kind of what uh, your experiences with preconception, maybe your experience with inherited emotions. Feel free to comment below, see how it's helped you out. We'd love to get some feedback, and uh, we'll be in touch soon. Take care, bye-bye.